Hey, it's JC1424 once again with January 2022's monthly music episode. Keep in mind, I don't give a damn if you don't like what I listen to, and you shouldn't care if I don't like whatever you listen to, and Happy New Year! My resolution should probably be to get these out on time. <laughs> yeah, right. At number five, The Devil Rages On by Volbeat. With a fluctuating tempo and a twangy guitar, this is certainly one of the most dynamic moments on their new album, which is worth at least one listen, but especially if you're going to need some hard rock or heavy metal for the road. Volbeat usually has like two different kinds of songs, so I'm still not that into them. At number four, we've got Bite Me by Avril Lavigne. Gave you one chance, you don't get it twice. I was beginning to wonder if she would ever come back with some pop punk. And when this did come out, I legitimately thought I was hearing something from the early 2000s that I just hadn't heard yet from her discography. But no, this is actually a new song. And all these years later, with that same look, she hasn't aged a bit. I'm not entirely wowed just yet in comparison to something like Tell Me It's Over, but if we're getting an entire record like this, I probably will be. At number three, we have the cinematic theme for YouTube premieres. I swear, something this unironically brilliant has got to have an actual name and artist, but I have yet to find all that out. Anyhow, my growing hatred for Spacewalk by Silent Partner drove me to beg Google to tell me how I can change the music at the countdown of my premieres. Apparently, there are several other themes. News to me. At number two, we've got Penetrate by 6AM. Aside from Stars and Life is Beautiful, one that I'm all sure we really love, I'm not that familiar with this band led by Nikki Six, who of course was the songwriter and bassist for Motley Crue. But I did used to listen to 106.1 Rock of Southeast Texas a lot whenever I was younger, so I hear his commentary between songs all the time. This one in particular is a new track from an album of hit singles. The vocals are rad as ever and the guitar solo is simply mystical towards the end. At number one, we've got The Eternal Struggles of the Howling Man by Rob Zombie. Their new album came out way back in like March, but I finally got around to it and found a couple songs that do pull me in. Sure, it has relatively normal riffing and sounds quite like their deep cuts from back in the day, but eventually it fades into funk and protest and a really sick rhythm change. Anyhow, thanks for watching this monthly music vid and episode over.